So welcome. Uh, let's take a look at another multiple choice question as part of our MCQ revision series. This time it's a kind of year one, year two micro question focusing on short run costs of production. Here we go. A firm which prints greetings cards records its short run costs. It observes that the average cost per card decreases as more produced, although the marginal cost is rising. Uh, what does it follow? And you have five options here. Now, I've, I've highlighted short run cost just as a little guide, it'll help to you there. So here's the moment where you can press the pause button, have a go at the question, and when you're ready, just press play, and I'll be back with the right answer, and we can go through the explanation together. Have a go. So yeah, I, I deliberately highlighted short run costs for a particular reason, and it'll help. Our, I think it'll help get our, our correct answer. So uh, the firm observes that the average cost per card is falling as they produce more cards, but the marginal cost of each extra card is rising. What does it follow? And the answer, the correct answer to this question is E. Marginal costs are below average costs. Low marginal is dragging down the average, even if the marginal is actually going up. So let's have a think about why that is the case. Well, it's to do with the usual uh, curvature, if you like, of the average and the marginal cost curve, which I've reproduced for you in this in this diagram. I've taken that text out again from the question, average cost falling whilst marginal cost of each card is increasing. Now, can you see on the diagram at position a situation where the average cost is falling, the unit cost of the, of the cards, even though marginal cost is increasing? It's going to be to the right of the point of the minimum point of the marginal cost curve. Hopefully you can see that, that this is an area, for example, where marginal cost is going up, but the average cost is still falling up to the point, of course, where marginal cost cuts average cost, the intersection at the minimum point of the average cost curve. So average cost will fall when marginal cost is less than average cost. Average cost will, will rise when marginal cost is greater than average cost. And the unit cost, the average cost, is at a minimum when it's intersected by the marginal cost curve. Just double check our answer by looking at the other options, A, B, C and D. Well, A says there are economies of scale, falling average cost. But economies of scale, or increasing returns, they refer uh, only to the long run, not the short run. Option B, the law of diminishing returns has not yet set in. Well, if that's the case, uh, the marginal cost of production of each extra card will be falling, not rising as the question suggests. The fixed costs are zero, well, it's unlikely to be right because one of the reasons why average cost will keep declining, even though marginal costs are on the increase, is because of a fall in the average fixed cost of production. A card company might have some overhead costs. The more cars they produce, the, the fixed cost per unit comes down. That helps to explain why average cost per card is still decreasing as more, of, as more are produced. And option D, marginal cost rise whenever average costs fall. No, as we've seen on the previous diagram, uh, both marginal cost and average cost can rise. That will be at any output beyond the point where marginal cost has intersected with the average cost curve. So that's why the correct answer to that question was E. I hope you got it right. A nice little test of your, your understanding of short-run cost curves. Okay, thank you.